So you mentioned Neil's name, and I think it's a good time to bring Neil into the conversation. Uh, Neil is the chief executive of, this, of the UK Screen Alliance, a trade association representing over 100 companies in visual effects, animation, audio, video post production, special effects, freelance editor agencies, as well as film and TV production studios. Uh, Neil, chairs the chair, Neil chairs the Creative Industries Council, a subgroup of apprenticeships and T-levels, and is also a, an apprenticeship uh, trailblazer co-chair and member of the Media Production and uh, Broadcast T-levels panel. Welcome, Neil. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Issa. Good morning, good morning, Neil. Good morning, Neil. Neil, welcome and uh, thank you for joining us. And I wanted to ask you, so not only you're the CEO of uh, the UK Screen Lines, but you're also part of the executive board along with Amy at Access VFX. And access to high quality opportunities in careers is critical to the success of social mobility. So firstly, for the viewers, what is Access VFX and why are such initiatives important for the industry, particularly for the 100 plus that you represent? Well, as Amy said, we can do very little as individual companies, but by getting together, we can start to move the dial, um, particularly ar around outreach. And uh, as, as Amy said, you know, we're already seeing those changes in the people who are applying to get into our industry uh, because nobody's going to apply for our industry if they don't know about it. And that was a very important point uh, that, that we, uh, we set out to change uh, because, um, for instance, if, if on some of our very early events, we invited people from, you know, some of the most deprived London boroughs, for instance, Tower Hamlets. Uh, people from there, schools from there, came to one of our earliest events. They are living and um, and going to school, perhaps no more than six to eight miles away from where the centre of the UK's visual effects industry is. But if they don't know about it, they're never going to join it. You know, the, the idea that Hollywood movies are made six to eight miles away from Tower Hamlets is pretty mind blowing uh, if you're 13. Uh, and, and the fact that you could, if you stepped on the right uh, career path, you could get a job in that really very interesting, very vibrant industry. So that was that was some of our uh, early thoughts about what we do through Access VFX. It came around. It came about through uh, one of our very uh, inspiration. Well, our very inspirational director of Access VFX, which is uh, Simon Devra, who was at the time head of learning and development at. The Mill, which is a commercials uh, visual effects house. And he had had the idea of running an inclusion week um, to co coincide with National Inclusion Week, which is usually early September. And um, he came and pitched that idea in one of the UK Screen Alliance working groups that we should all get together and combine on an inclusion week. And within 10 minutes, we basically uh, decided with with all the, the, the companies that were present, we decided we were going to do it. And uh, it grew uh, from, well, from the idea that each company would provide maybe one or two events in that week. It suddenly grew to a week that was so packed. We had 28 events in a week uh, with, you know, some overlapping events, uh, four or five events a day, starting from workshops in the morning, going all the way through to screenings of inspirational films in the in the evening. So it was a very vibrant week, but right in the middle of that, we had our what we called our inclusive careers fair, which is where we invited local schools in. Um, and this is where we, you know, we, as I said, the, the, the pupils of Tower Hamlets and et cetera, um, first became aware of our industry. But we could have patted ourselves on the back after that first meeting, after that first week, and, and said, you know, you know we've, done, we've done good there. But actually, what was the long term gain? So what's the outcome? What's what's the real uh, gain that we can make from that week? Well, uh, somebody had were foresighted enough before the week to come up with the idea of saying, why don't we set up an apprenticeship? Uh, sorry, a, a mentorship scheme um, so that we've got something as a tangible outcome of that first week. We can invite everybody to become mentors and invite everybody to become mentees and join them together. And in fact, that's one of, been one of the most successful parts of Access VFX has been our, our mentor scheme. We, we now have uh, getting on for 500, I think actually might have just broken through the 500 mentor pairs. Um, and it, it's, it's become very successful and it, it's done in a very innovative way because it's done through what is basically a monitored Slack channel. So basically it's done online. 
you don't meet. Um, it can be done um, in, a, in that kind of um, asynchronous way. So somebody puts up a question to their mentor that when their mentor's got a moment that they can deal with it, uh, they, they answer that and, and you get some very good conversations going and it's been, it has really been very vibrant and successful. So that's been another one of our uh, pillars. Uh, so we, 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 the four pillars that we talk about are inspiration, education, mentoring and recruitment. So we've got something going on each, each one of those pillars. The model has become so successful that within uh, the sort of three years that we've been going, that model has now been ad adopted uh, by the visual effects community in Montreal, in Chicago, in New York, in West Coast America, New Zealand, and we're just about to talk about Australia as well. So we're actually now not just uh, doing mentoring in the UK, we're doing it globally. And uh, that I think is, is a really mind blowing idea that you could have somebody who is uh, you know, a 14 year old uh, who is interested in animation, say somewhere in South London, being mentored by a hotshot creative director from Los Angeles. Yeah. So it's a pretty pretty mind blowing opportunity. And and Neil, just I just want to bring in Amy into this for one second. I wanted to ask Amy, as an employer, how important has something like Access VFX been to your organisation, and then the, the role it's played essentially in? Uh, recruiting diverse talent? Yeah, it's it's hugely important to us as an employer. Um, at Framestore, we have more than 100 of those mentors that are signed up to the scheme because particularly in the light of everything that's happened in um, the US recently, but prior to that as well, you know, one of the biggest questions our employees would ask us is, what can we do? You know, what can we do as individuals to help? And, and one of the biggest things is sign up to be a mentor. You know, that's one of the yeah. easiest, easiest things you can do to help young people. Um, and so lots of people have taken us up on that. The other thing is, is that I think in terms of attracting diverse people, I think Access VFX has been really important because as an industry, we're demonstrating together that we take this seriously and that it's important to us as an industry. Um, and you know, I get a lot of feedback from our staff that they're really pleased that there are people in the industry who care, you know, and, and who want to make a difference. And that makes them loyal to the industry, actually, um, that, that they feel that it's an industry that cares and is interested and is taking the time. Um, one of the things I think we're going to have to work on moving forward is so many people want to be involved in Access for Effects, which is great. It's just figuring out how we can harness all that goodwill in the industry and put it to, to the best use. So, for example, this summer, we've been running an online animation summer school, which is completely free to people um, to attend. And it takes you through all the basics of creating your own animation from scratch. And we've had artists from all different studios around the industry creating that training, running that training, hosting that training. Um, and so we're looking for things like that where we can harness um, people in our companies like Framestore to actually really help us amplify what Access VFX is already doing. No, thank you very much. Neil, I'm going to hold some of your thoughts for the question and answers. <laughs>